Since our Thanksgiving didn't go as planned this year, we did something a little bit different. Hey everybody, so today I'm going to be showing you what my kids picked out for their Christmas pajamas. And when I say that it's totally different, normally we would do like a box that they would open the day after Thanksgiving. They would open it and then they would change into their Christmas pajamas before we decorated the tree. Well, with my mother's heart attack, my mother-in-law's heart attack, and by the way, she's doing a little bit better. Thank you all for your thoughts and prayers. She's doing some better. Um, it's still just, it's kind of rough right now because um, again, she got that cancer diagnosis a couple days afterwards. So it's been kind of rough but with things kind of just like different this year we decided to just let the kids go and pick out their own pajamas instead so that's what we did yesterday so i'm going to show you what they picked out and then they're going to go change into them to have a rainy relaxing rest of our saturday so this is one of the ones that the kids picked out this is the joy spun brand and this is a two-piece set. What they love about it is that it's got the pocket like a hoodie, but it doesn't have a hood on it, which I kind of like these a little bit better because then they don't have a hood on them while they're going to bed, which they could always change this out for a different shirt for bed. But they kind of like this rose goldish, darker color. It's more like a rose gold than it is like a peach or a brown or anything. And it says stay cozy on it. I didn't check. Yeah, it's pretty well covered on the back of that. Sometimes when they're rough on that embroidery right there, they don't like it. Um, any any shirt that has like embroidery on it, but that one should be fine. If not, they'll probably just wear a shirt with anyways. And then these pants are super soft. They've got the uh, sweat paint kind of band on the bottom of them instead of being really loose. So yeah, this is the first one. And then mostly on average this year, all of the Christmas pajamas that they have are 20 bucks. This is pajama set number two. It's basically the same design, except there's no embroidery anywhere on the front of it. They're so super soft and it's gonna be warm. What I love about it is that it's snowflakes and it has hearts on it. So if she wanted to keep this out to like say Valentine's Day, it can be pretty universal. And this is my child who like in September starts getting cold when it's still in the 90s during the day and at night she gets cold. So I love having thicker pajamas for her. Again, it has this really cool um, one pocket like the hoodie on the front of it but not a hood on the back of it and like I said just the fact she's gonna be able to wear it all winter long is really great and that was kind of the goal was they kind of they wanted festive but they also wanted stuff that could be all winter long this year so that was kind of their goal with picking it out and then again with the pant design it has that uh, ankle part around it which this one doesn't seem as bunched as the other one did but that's okay this one is also an extra small again this is the joy spun brand and this is like this is what walmart carries uh at, during the holiday season they had more joy spun this year than they did the um i don't remember what the other brand was that we bought last year but they had more of this one actually i think last year we purchased them off of amazon but what i found was if you have a child in extra smalls the ones on amazon don't fit well they are too big and usually with amazon sometimes you have to size up with these, like they, the smallest ones did not fit them, which is the reason why we went back to getting them at Walmart this year. But this one was also $19.98 for the full set of the shirt and the pants. And like I said, if the shirt just becomes too hot for them to sleep in, then they can wear like a t-shirt with it and then still have the comfy pants to go with it and can put the sweater on. And these are also like pajamas on days where they uh, want to do school in their pajamas, which they actually don't because they said they can focus more if they actually get dressed each morning. But like on the, on the colder days where they don't want to get dressed first thing in the morning, this would also be perfect for those days. This is set number three and let's have a talk about this set. And also this is another one of those like it looks lighter in the filming camera than it does in the actual filming down here. But then I, sometimes in post edit it looks darker because the screen adjusts but anyways but this is actually from the actual filming perspective it's darker in person than it is in the actual camera shot right now like when I hold it like that it looks more appropriate like for the color of it um this is one of the ones that has the hood on it but let's have a talk about this real quick this pajama set is for my child who sleeps on a top bunk of a bunk bed she gets hot at night because they have to turn we turn the heat up in the winter so then the heat rises so she gets hot at night so 
This is my child who probably will not sleep in this thicker top right here with the hood on it. This is my child who will probably like wear it after dinner around the house and then first thing in the morning when she gets up while she's wearing this set and probably wear a t-shirt with this. She kind of liked that it said lazy mode on it and again I'm pretty sure yeah this one also has the protective piece on the back of it. I know all of them are supposed to but there's still sometimes we get stuff and it doesn't really have a good protective piece or doesn't have a protective piece at all for that embroidery on the back so that it's not going to scratch you. So I do like to point that out sometimes and also I know some people who watch this have kids with sensory processing disorder and there's times that like I will point that out so that if hey you have one of those kids that you'll be aware of like those circumstances so it does have that on it. Um, again like the last one I showed you it didn't have any so like if you're interested in that and they're all super soft whether they have the embroidery or not they're all super soft they're comfy pajamas so like just something to keep in mind. But yeah, it's still a long sleeve shirt. And the, my kids don't like the ones, and I don't either, of sweaters that have the elastic band on the wrists. So I do love that they have switched to doing way more of those. And then here is the pant design. Again, this one even doesn't have as tight of an elastic piece on the ankles as the first set did. What she loved was she actually had picked out another set that was a little more Christmassy and it had red plaid, like red and black, I think, plaid. Maybe red, black, and white, but they had the red plaid on here. And by the time we went to go back, they had completely sold out of that set. And this time of year, we never guarantee Walmart's going to get it again. So I was just like, do you have a second favorite? Do you want to look online? Because uh, she doesn't wear extra small. So it's a little bit easier to shop for her online than it is my two that wear extra small sizes right now. Um, so then both of the ones that were extra small, they're kind of like the ones that are in between like adult and kids sizes. So that's why they're a little bit harder to do. Um, this is one of my older ones that is not in kid sizes. So I wanted to find something super soft that she loved and she does love plaid. So, and she loves pink. So we did find that they had the pink and then the dark right here does match the color of the sweater. And I'm pretty sure this one was still 20 as well. And it is still the joy spun brand and yeah it was also uh twenty dollars for this set and like i said the hood oh look how comfy that looks on the inside that looks just looks so soft i love it and it still has like that print look on the front but that comfy fleece feel on the inside that's really cool i wonder if the pants do that too do 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 do, do. yes they do look at that so so super soft i'm all about soft jammies for myself the kids so um like i said again with the hood it's not my favorite but i really don't think she's gonna be sleeping in it with like, like that so i'm not super worried about it and also like more traveling they have times where they fall asleep in hoodies so and it doesn't have strings there's no strings no string holes so We'll, we'll try it out and see if we like it. Last but not least, we have the last set. Now, as you can tell, these are not on a hanger together. So one of the cool things about Walmart is if you cannot find one of their pre-done sets that you just really like both pieces to, there are several mix and match items. These two were not on the same rack together, but we were able to piece them together for an outfit. So let's start with the pants. This child wanted lighter weight ones because she has less storage for her clothes, on which I offered to get her more storage for clothes, but no, she just, she insisted she just didn't want to have to buy more because if she felt like if she got bigger storage, then she would get more clothes than she needed. So anyways, so she decided not to, and she wanted thinner because of storage purposes and also her roommate because the, the girls sleep paired up two in one room two in the other um likes the room a little bit warmer at night so she decides she just she just specifically asked for lighter weight and these are still soft they're just not like the fleecy soft also another difference is they have more of this is more of like what i would call like a long john fit for both the top and the bottom it doesn't have the tiny uh elastic waist on it it does have the bigger ankle pieces, but these are also really super soft. They're not scratchy. And it also still has like a neutral colored fall or fall Christmassy print. I went shopping day and some people still have like fall stuff on discount Christmassy print. And it does also have the uh, tie on waist to adjust as you go. That way also if you like have a child that likes the pants a little bit looser on the legs, but have a smaller waist than what they want. You can also get one of the tie ones 
and that works well. Um, some people don't like tie-on ones for their kids because it's, that's, again, a trigger for uh, sensory processing. Um, I also work with special needs kids at our church, so that's the reason why I'm a little more sensitive to stuff like that. But she is not one of those, so she does she can do pretty well with that. And then, like I said, for the shirt, we wanted to find something that matched with it, and I think we did pretty good matching these two together and it looks like I mean sometimes if you picture long johns you picture like the older ones where they're super scratchy uncomfortable way bigger than what you need this is actually not it's like a comfy long john looking outfit but it's actually a super soft one it does it has textured on the inside as well but it's super comfy it does have buttons also down the front right here which for ours if they didn't want the buttons we actually just sew them up like you can put a stitch right here and sew them completely closed but i don't think it's going to be a problem um so the individual pieces how do those work so they're both joy spun the pants were 12.98 and the shirt was 9.98 which does make it more expensive to buy it this way but again like if you wanted like thicker pants and a thin shirt you could mix and match and do that which is one of the plus sides to doing this or like with mine she wanted a festive pair of pants and a lightweight shirt that was neutral that she could maybe change out with other things or pants that she could change out with a t-shirt so that way pretty well to do this set together and that is it for the Christmas pajamas for Walmart for 2023 of this year of what we chose from their women's department and kind of just give you an idea of options that they have available this year. Thank you to all of our members for supporting this content and allowing us to continue making videos and thank you to every single one of you for liking, watching, positive comments, and subscribing. Merry Christmas and we will see you next time.